Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and in today's cook with me video we are making one of my absolute favorites sausage tortellini soup. I know that it's April, <laughs> maybe May by the time you see this video, but it is spring. The weather for us is so up and down. It's been gorgeous, 70 degrees. And then nights like tonight, it's chilly. It's in the high 40s. It's gonna dip down into the high 30s. There are black storm clouds and I am just feeling like a delicious bowl of soup. And so we're gonna make sausage tortellini soup probably one of the easiest recipes that you will ever make. Um, if you haven't had it, you will want to put this in your rotation. Everybody in my house loves it. Let's go ahead and get started. Thanks for being here. Okay, let's talk ingredients. So here are all of the ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe. First and foremost, you're going to need frozen cheese tortellini. Make sure that you get the frozen kind and make sure that they're the big ones. Um, you're also going to need some mild Italian ground sausage. You could do spicy. Uh, that would be perfectly fine as well. You're gonna need a pound of that. You're also going to need the equivalent of three uh, garlic cloves. So I use this already ready minced. It just makes life a lot easier. Um, I believe you need a tablespoon or two of flour and you're also going to need kale. So for the recipe, I think it calls for around a cup. I end up putting in more because I love it, but you can also uh, substitute this for spinach. That would also be fine. <clears throat> um, I, you're also going to need heavy whipping cream for this recipe and five cups of chicken broth. So I've got um, two uh, 32 ounce um, boxes here. I think one of these is four cups, so you'll need one and then some. Uh, you'll also need one small onion, salt, and pepper. You're also going to need hot sauce. This is completely up to you. I use Frank's for this recipe. It does have a little bit of a bite, not much, but it really does add to the flavor, so don't skimp on that. I promise it does not make it spicy. Um, and these are the seasonings that you're going to need. Chili flakes, mustard, basil, cayenne pepper, and oregano. You could omit the chili flakes and the cayenne pepper, and that would be fine. If you feel like this is too much spice between the hot sauce, the chili flakes, and the cayenne pepper, just go with the cayenne pepper. That gives it a little bit of a bite, but it doesn't give too much spice. But I promise that really does add to the depth of the flavor in this soup. So this is everything we're gonna need, and it is a really simple and quick recipe that you can have on your table in about a half an hour. The recipe that I'm following tonight is from The Cozy Cook, and I mentioned in my last cook with me that I print all of my recipes just to make things easier for me when I'm cooking so I'm not constantly looking at my phone or trying to keep it you know pulled up but what you could do if you don't want to print everything is write it on a recipe card or you could try the recipe first if you like it and then you can print it but I just find that having things printed makes life so much easier. For this recipe, the first thing we're gonna do is cook our sausage and our diced onion. So we're gonna go ahead and just let our um, pot here come up to temperature. I added probably about tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of avocado oil to my pot. That just will keep everything from sticking. I'm gonna go ahead and open up our sausage and <clears throat> get that in. Again, I'm just using mild, you could use hot. And I'm gonna use this little meat, I don't even know what you would call this. It just helps to separate your ground meat so any kind of ground uh, sausage or beef whatever you're going to just go ahead and do this and as it cooks you can keep doing this so right now it's gonna you know kind of come together it's not going to be as easy to break up but as it cooks it will be easier to separate so 
just keep that nearby because we're going to keep using that. You're going to cook this at uh, medium high. And then we're going to go ahead and dice up one small onion. Once your sausage isn't pink anymore and your onions are looking nice and translucent like that for the most part, that means they're cooked and they're ready for the next step. So we're going to start to season up our soup. We're going to start by adding in garlic. Now the recipe says three-ish cloves. <laughs> the recipe says three cloves. I always add three ish I always say ish when I do this because I like garlic and if a little more goes in it's never the end of the world so go ahead and put that in you're only gonna let that cook for about 30 seconds or so by itself because you don't want your garlic to burn and then we're gonna add our flour now this is gonna act as our thickening agent and I love a thick soup I think there's a time and a place for a nice brothy soup like a really great homemade chicken noodle um, especially when you're not feeling well but for the most part I will always choose a creamier soup so for today we're doing a creamy soup so you're going to add in three ish tablespoons of flour I'm saying ish because I really wasn't like making sure they were all perfect and now you're going to let that cook for a minute or so. You want to cook out as much of that starchy flavor as you can. Flour is raw and if you don't cook it, it can really make your food taste very starchy. So it's just going to coat your uh, sausage, garlic and onion at this point. And then you're just going to kind of let that cook a second Then we'll come stir it up. You don't want it to burn, but you don't want it to be super starchy either. You're gonna have to stir this somewhat regularly because it will burn. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my stove down a little here, but kind of looks like the start of gravy. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our seasonings. So it calls for a teaspoon of dried basil. And we're adding these now versus when the uh, all the liquids are in because this is going to give us a really good taste, a little good depth of taste, and it's going to allow for those seasonings to cook. Calls for a half a teaspoon or so of mustard, ground mustard. Calls for about a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. Always use fresh, gr fresh ground if you can. Just feel like that really is just a little bit better, a little bit of an elevated flavor. Whoop, I don't know where we're going. Let's really turn this down. It's getting a little hot. We're sticking to the bottom, but don't worry. We'll take care of that with our other stuff. Okay, so pinch of red pepper flakes. We'll just put a little bit of those in. Also calls for a pinch of cayenne. So we'll just put a little bit of that. And it also calls for a half a teaspoon of oregano. 
I love oregano so much. All right, we're just gonna stir that in. And this smells amazing. I can smell that cayenne, so delicious. We also need to add in our hot sauce, calls for about a teaspoon. So you do what works for you. And then it's gonna be time to add our chicken broth. Oh, that smells so good. So as I mentioned, one of these boxes is four cups. So we're gonna start with that. You wanna kinda add it in and then stir it. We don't want everything to get clumpy, so you're gonna add a little bit in, stir it in, let it absorb some of that flour so it doesn't clump up. Go ahead and add in a little bit more. We're probably at like three-fourths of the container. I can already feel the stuff on the bottom of the pan loosening. And then we're gonna add in the rest of this box. And we need one more cup or so. <laughs> this one I'm gonna measure just because we're going to cook our pasta in this as well. So I'm gonna add a little bit more broth than you might typically need, but that you're going to cook your pasta in here. So once you have that added, it's gonna look like this and your house is going to smell delicious. Go ahead and pump up the heat. I just bumped mine up to almost high and we're gonna let this come to a bubbly, low boil, gentle boil. I'm just kind of scraping the bottom with my uh, rubber spatula. My all clad here is stainless steel, so I don't want to use anything that's going to scratch it, but just kind of scraping along the bottom to make sure I get all of that uh, flour up. Make sure your sides are clean so you're not burning any of your onions to it. And then we're just going to let that sit for a couple of minutes until it comes to a boil. You can pop a lid on if that will make it go a little bit faster. And now we wait. So one little change that I make to the recipe is I wait to add um, my cup of heavy cream. So it calls for adding this when, uh, right before you bring it to a boil, but I don't like to do that. So um, what I do is I save this until it's bubbling a little bit, but not all the way boiled and add it then, stir it in, and then we'll take the lid off and let it finish coming to a boil. So we're probably right at that spot, yep. Just starting to come to a very gentle boil. Go ahead and turn it down just a tad. Slowly pour that in. And, oh, this is seriously my favorite. It's probably this, then clam chowder, which I also have on my channel. So we're gonna go ahead and let that come to another little bit of a boil. I had dropped it down. This is gonna come up to a little bit of a boil and then we're gonna let it kind of simmer so that it'll thicken up a little bit just for a few minutes and then that's just gonna help to um, make everything come together with that flour and it'll thicken up and then it'll be time to add in our pasta and our kale at the very last minute and then we're done, you guys. Another easy bonus about this recipe is I've already cleaned up. So I've put all of the seasonings away, the flour away, I've loaded the dishwasher with uh, the few little items that I used and once I add that tortellini and the kale, that's it you guys, I, there's no more to clean up. So except for the bowls when you're done, super, super simple. The other thing I wanted to mention is that you could eat this uh, soup with some crusty bread. That would be absolutely delicious. I don't have any crusty bread tonight. Wish I would have thought that through, but I don't have any. And you could also make a little side salad, which um, I do have, but I'm not super hungry tonight, so I'm just gonna have soup. But if you need to fill your family, if you're concerned that you know a bowl of soup isn't gonna do it, 
then you can definitely add some things to the side. I will assure you though, this is a very hearty soup. It's going to fill you, so don't feel like you need a ton of extra food. time to finish off our soup with our tortellini and our kale so I'm gonna go ahead and open mine it calls for two cups of tortellini so you can kind of eyeball it but I'm going to just uh, kind of measure it out for today's video go ahead and add in your two cups This bag is, let's see, 19 ounces. So eight ounces is a cup. So 16 of that if you wanted to go by weight. I don't like too much pasta in my soup. I do like a good pasta to broth ratio. So I think that's enough. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn that up a little bit since that cold pasta just kind of dropped our soup really quickly and we want that to bubble so I'm going to just turn that up a little bit and then we're also going to add in calls for about a cup so I'm just going to kind of eyeball it here and uh, that's way more than a cup but that is how I like it <laughs> salad in like a little soup with my kale salad so Go ahead and stir that in. Kale is a very hearty leafy green, so this is not going to wither in your soup, which I love. It's gonna have a little bit of a bite. I did see a big stem in there, and I wanna go ahead and take that one out. You don't want really stemmy ones like that because those aren't as delicious. But that's done. We're gonna go ahead and let that come back to a boil and let that simmer for about uh, three to five minutes. Really doesn't need much. And this is gonna be ready to devour. The last thing you wanna do before you serve it is give it a taste and check your salt levels. So I don't salt it until the very end when I've had a chance to take, give it a taste. You're probably gonna need some for sure. That is so dreamy. Doesn't need much. I'm gonna say two pinches and we're good. And we're gonna put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. So you don't wanna make it too salty. We're gonna go ahead and ladle up some soup. Wow. I am so excited to eat. <laughs> I love this soup. Let me get a little bit more greenery. So dreamy. To finish us off, go ahead and top it with a little bit of grated Parmesan. So delicious. Okay, my soup is done. I feel like I just used this bowl for my last cook with me. Look at that steam. Can you see it? Uh, this is my favorite bowl, it's from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I love the handle. Uh, it just feels extra cozy in this bowl, but you guys, oh my gosh. It is so dreamily creamy. Look at this. Can you see all that steam? Oh man, I might put a little extra hot sauce in mine. Blow on it. As even though my mouth is watering, I gotta blow on it because it's hot. Mm. It is dreamy. Oh man, that is perfection. Wow. <laughs> wow. It is so creamy, but it's not thick. Like that's the best part about it is it's not thick like a chowder. 
It's definitely thinner, you know, like a soup, but it's so dreamily creamy. It, I can't even tell you. The kale is delicious. It's not bitter at all. It's got just the right amount of texture to it. I like a little bite um, in my soup. The pasta is cooked perfectly. It's not mushy. It's perfection. It's got just enough heat that it warms your mouth, but it's not spicy. You guys, <laughs> make this. Doesn't matter what time of year it is, make it. It is a cloudy, rainy day here, so I am very much looking forward to going and cuddling up on my sofa. Everybody is gone. My daughter is at dinner with her friends. My son is hanging out with his aunt, and my other son is at the aquarium with his friend, and my other two boys are at soccer practice with daddy. So I'm home by myself for about another 20 minutes. Enough time for me to sit down, enjoy my hot cup of soup, and maybe watch an episode or two of Gilmore Girls. So thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I am finding a renewed passion for these cook with me's. I enjoy them and I like to share super simple recipes and this is one of them, you guys. So dang good. Probably gonna have two bowls. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Happy eating.